So it's important to understand what ecosystems are. Ecosystems, um, it's, a, it's a, a word we use in science to describe um, the living uh, creatures and the non-living materials. So I'm talking about plants and animals are living, but then uh, the air and water is non-living. But the living creatures and the air and water all interact at the level of a system. And they do that on big scales. So often when we talk about an ecosystem, we're talking about you know, a whole landscape, a whole valley, or even more than that, with, with um, animals in, in, in trees and the trees with their roots in the soil and the water going through the soil and the trees are absorbing gases from the atmosphere and releasing them and so on. So it's, that, it's a word that tries to encapsulate the way those things interact at big scales. It's a wildly important. Um, you know, on one level, that almost seems like a silly question because <laughs> they're so important that we, we are part of an ecosystem. That's probably the best way to think about it. Um, you can't not, you can't have humans without having an ecosystem. Even if we end up sending humans out to live on other planets, they're going to be supported by things that were made on Earth that are products of the the ecosystem of Earth. So you kind of can't. So, well, so far, we, can't, we haven't had life without ecosystems. We're, in, we're just bound to them. Uh, the fact that we breathe in and out constantly and those gases are, are being uh, produced by, the, by uh, the plants and the animals in the landscape, or at least being shaped and influenced by plants and animals in the landscape, means that every second you're connected to an ecosystem. So if you've grown up in a, a modern technological society, it's easy to... Um, sort of slowly forget the extent to which you're connected to nature. And so um, as that sort of phenomenon developed in, in uh, especially in Western societies, so developed this idea uh, of ecosystem services. And ecosystem services was really a framework for helping people to understand and reflect on the ways that actually, even though they might think they're, they're separating from nature, they're not. We rely on ecosystems to provide all of these uh, things that we consume, food and, and water, and to provide the environment in which we can survive. So ecosystem services or the ecosystem services framework is a way of accounting for all the ways in which nature is supporting humans on a day-to-day -day basis. So it is, it's, it's deliberately human-centric. It's kind of like saying, what, is, what has nature done for us? Uh, and so uh, uh, it forces you to reflect on those connections and then start to think about how do we make better decisions about how to uh, manage our environments to make sure that they, they can continue to support us as humans. You know, on, on one level, maybe the ecosystem services framework sounds uh, kind of obvious and simple, 